I wonder who, who takes down those lights after they put them up. I know Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 was made before Pokemon Black and White, but I have to say those buildings kind of remind me of that one seaside town in Pokemon Black and White where you fight Cynthia if you go into one of the doors. Yeah, don't go into that door. It's the first door on the left. No, wait, no, that's not good. If you're going... If you entered from the south and you are going north, it's the first door on the left. Trust me, I figured that one out the hard way. Now, if it wasn't for the fact that you could choose whether you wanted to battle her or not by selecting yes or no, I would have lost a lot of money. That would have been annoying. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh. Didn't work. Okay, so we were at Desert Heat 2... Ancient Ruins to uh, Coastal Parklands to we headed to the Outback. We're here at Calypso Coast to so I'm going to assume that our next place is either going to be at National Forest, National Forest to Scenic Drive or Scenic Drive to. I wasn't paying attention. Who was the one that got out? Uh, I'll just find out as soon as I get to the next event. Or next race of this event, to be honest. Who pays for this guy's car whenever he crashes? They have to have some budget. Island Outskirts. Ashley. It seems only fair comes down to us. You, me, this course. Let us go. Come on. No, no, no. Cycloid, sweet. I wanted to make you crash, but I don't care now. This music is playing. Perfect rave music. Or, uh, well, not exactly immediate rave music, but more of like the soothing kind of rave. Where everyone's still dancing and everyone's still happy and jumping up and down and doing things that shouldn't really be allowed in school dances. But, it's chill. You know, I probably just made it sound terrible now that I've said that. Forgive me, all fans of this song. Or, rather, don't forgive me, because you probably don't care. On to the shortcut that serves as the main road. I'm doing pretty good. I haven't been to this course in a while. This specific one, but... I'm doing pretty good. Thought it would crash and burn by now. What the heck is up on that road? I want to find out. Alright, where does that road lead? The yellow barrier. If only I could find a way to get in through it. I'd be very entertained if I could figure that out. But alas, it will remain a mystery forever. Hello, trees. Thank you for covering me with shade. I am most happy by your shade givingness.
once again, I'll just say this, I consider this upper pathway to be quicker to the finish line than the shortcut down below. I'm not sure if it's because the shortcut down below is sand or and that this is paved or something, but that's how it usually works out for me. However, you should be careful. If you're in hot pursuit mode, which always has civilian cars on every event, although varying in degree of severity, there will always be civilian cars heading your way up on the upper pathway, so I guess that's the balancing factor. Just be careful if you take the. Be careful. Careful. That is the word I'd want to say. Be careful if you take that path. I. Cannot speak well. No, you don't. I know you're there from the yellow arrow behind me. I'm gonna take this path. You should get this fixed. It's all burnt. I wonder what, how it feels with, for those people with those houses right next to this main road. Are there miniature roads that lead deep into the island or whatever that get them off on smaller roads that eventually lead back onto the main highway? I mean, because how else are they going to be able to get onto the main road if they have no driveways? What? That twig of a tree! You tricked me! Oh god, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. Curse you, tree! Curse you! You and your twigness. Oh, it's the perfect plan. I commend the designers. They just had to have that one tree sticking out. It's like, you think it's behind the barrier. No, it's not. It's just right there, waiting for you to mess up. And it laughs at you when you're out of range. Okay, okay, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. This is bad. This is very bad. I'm just gonna follow this car. Hopefully I can make him hurt it spin out. Get over here, you sick, twisted little car! That's right, you stay over there. You could have won, but you cannot rely on trees forever. Eventually, it takes skill instead of cheap crashing into your into the wall, which is contradictory to what I did at the beginning of this race, but I don't care. Ah, take that. Impressive. You have just won the V8 multi-track knockout. Very impressive indeed. I actually was doubting I was going to win there. Huh. Oh well. At least failing with a human effort, and then somehow winning at the very end. It makes for good video. If anyone cares. Which they don't. Okay, who are you? Aston Martin V12 Vanquish Reward. Alright, alright. 400 horsepower. Tournament. Okay, you're a spider. Wait, Z8. Oh, wait. Spider is 180. You're 190. Okay. Aston Martins always eat spiders. Speed wise. Uh, I'm gonna. Black? Yeah, I'll, I'll go black. For this race. Someone's gonna make a comment about that, and it's gonna be rude, I can tell. Six races. Bring it on. Two laps. Piece of cake. Too bad we're not going in reverse, though. 